Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today we're in my shop in Pennsylvania and I don't know if you remember we were working on a small engine project and we're gonna work on that today. We're gonna start taking this motor apart. I'm gonna show you the different steps on how to take the motor apart and explain what some of these parts do. Alright, let me aim you towards the motor. Alright, so one of the first things we're going to remove are the wing nuts for our air filter. So, another name for wing nuts are thumb screws. So I got my cover off and then there's another wing nut underneath it. I don't know how the weather is in Sarahville. I'm up on my mountain in Pennsylvania and it's snowing out. Maybe I'll show you a picture of the snow outside. Got my air filter off. Now this washer, people have tended to have lost that washer. Now what I gotta do is I gotta go through all my envelopes and find the one that says wing nuts. Wing nuts, here we go. So I wanna keep everything organized so it doesn't get lost. I mean, there's probably gonna be a hundred bolts we're gonna take off and we don't wanna lose any. All right, so the next thing I'm going to take off is my air filter housing. But I got to make sure that these levers on the carburetor are pushed all the way to the left. Now, this top lever here, this is called the choke. What the choke does, you got to, when you want to start a small engine, you got to put the choke on because you need what's called a richer air fuel mixture when the motor is cold. Once the motor starts up, you move the choke to uh, the open position and it's going to run normal. Now there are some small engines instead of having a choke lever they have a little red button that you push a bunch of times that squirts fuel in. Then we have another lever down here and this one basically controls the fuel coming from the gas tank. We have no gas and we have gas. All right. So I'm going to take that off. Now most of the sockets we're going to be using are 8s and 10s and 12s. So I'm going to take off the first eight. Make sure my ratchet's set to righty tighty lefty loosey. So I'm going to go to the left, and it ratchets back to 12. So I know I'm going the correct direction. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Now let me find my 10. Now once I get them loose, I just screw them with my extension in my socket. By the way, if you look at my sockets, they're uh, not chrome, they're black. Um, these are impact sockets. These sockets can be used with air tools. They're much stronger than the chrome ones, less likely to crack. Alright, so now i got to find my air filter housing. Got bolts in there. Now there's a hose you got to make sure you disconnect, which I've already disconnected, before you remove this off and it just slides off. Alright, so the next component I'm going to take off is my gas tank. I don't know how good my camera angle is using a GoPro for one of the first times in my life. Uh, got some 10 millimeters, they're already loose. Guess the last person that didn't, didn't tighten them up. Take my two 10s off. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but way down here is an eight millimeter. I've had a lot of kids mistaken and they take this one off when it's actually this one. So I'm going to remove my ignition coil wire to give me a little bit more room. Get my extension and my socket on it. And remove my bolt. I'm going to put my bolts in my envelope that says gas tank. Put them over to the side. Now, 
This is where I've seen a lot of people tr struggle. Getting this hose off. This hose just pulls off. You just gotta use some strength to wiggle and pull, wiggle and pull, wiggle and pull. And your gas tank is off. So now let's go to the next component. Throttle lever. Now what a throttle is, it's the same thing as like you have in your car with your gas pedal. What it's gonna do, it's gonna wind up controlling a little lever that opens and closes air going in and out of your motor. The more air, the more gas, the higher the RPM. And when it's totally shut, it's called idle. So we're gonna take this off. There only has two screws, one right there and one right there. Put that in my lever package. Now the other thing we got to look at is there's a spring. The spring goes into a little loop. Don't know if you can see it right there. And then I'm going to make note that it's in my first hole on this lever. So there's a set of three and it's in the, the very first hole of the set of three. If you don't uh, do this properly, you'll have uh, problems with your idle and your throttle as far as like running too fast. All right, so the next component I'm gonna take off is the carburetor. Now carburetors, it's probably the most common failed part of your small engine. What happens is gasoline winds up sitting in it for a long period of time, corroding and causing all kinds of issues. All right, that these have to be taken apart and cleaned if you uh, don't store them correctly. So once again, I'm going to take note of my rods. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. Now this is kind of tricky how it comes off. You turn the throttle this way and the lever pops straight out. And then I remove my little spring. Remove my little spring here. Now to get the rod up, out, I lift up and it kind of goes down in and in the hole. So now I'm going to take that other spring I had, I'm going to put it into my uh, envelope that should say carb rods and springs. I don't want to lose anything. Now I'm going to completely remove my carburetor. Carburetor, it mixes air and gas together, all right? Now down here is the bowl. I'll try to show you guys a video on how a carburetor works. There was supposed to be a gasket here, I guess the last group. They never put it on. And they broke our spacer. Wish I can get into the school to get another spacer. Hopefully this will work when I'm done. And then I uh, guess we can work on our next part, which is taking this piece off called a starter cover. Now I see that I have my ground wire attached here, my on and off switch is attached to it. These wires have already been disconnected for some reason. But I'm going to wind up taking four bolts off. There's one here, one here, one down here, and one down here. Where I've seen a lot of kids make mistakes is they wind up taking these three off. You don't need to take these three off. Once again, another eight millimeter. Now, what's cool about sockets, if you look at them, actually tells you the size. So this is an eight millimeter. That means this, the distance from here to here is eight millimeters. And then we have another side called the drive. This drive, if you did a measurement, is three eighths. So it takes a three eighths ratchet.
I don't know if I mentioned it's cold. A little bit cold enough to turn my heater back on. At least the, the metal parts are cold. So I got a packet says starter cover. Put my bolts in that. And I'll remove my starter cover. Now another part I can remove real quick is my ignition coil. Um, just has two 8mm bolts. I believe I showed you a video already about ignition coils and about gapping them and stuff like that. But we'll wind up taking my ignition coil off. I'll try to run this video only for about 10 minutes or so. I don't want to give you guys too much information too quick. And of course I'll have a worksheet. Guys, please do the work on time. It makes it a lot more difficult when I do grading, when I have to go back days later because someone submits their work late. I'm going to start taking points off of that. All right, so ignition coils off, and we'll take one more part off. All right, so this part here, called a valve cover. OHV, overhead valve, all right? Now, there used to be motors called flatheads. A lot of all your lawn mowers and stuff use flathead engines, means the valves are in the engine block. More modern, or what they call late model engines, the valves are located in the head. So let me take the valve cover off, and we'll be done today. Now, I'm having a hard time with uh, loading everything. I'm not as tech savvy as you guys. I guess I'm trying to make my own uh, YouTube channel with all these videos I make. Just takes so long to upload stuff. I wish I had you guys around to get advice from. Much rather be in the classroom than here. And my valve covers comes off. So now let me go find my packet that says valve covers. And we'll be done for the day. And you'll have a worksheet to do. And uh, hopefully I don't get snowed in. You guys want to see the snow? And we unplug you from here. Go to my door. My bicycle's outside. Got a little snow going on. All right, guys. Stay warm. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.